gonna uh, get back-to-back -back presentations on the new kid on the block, yeah. which is live streaming Twitter apps. I guess we're so shocked you're the one that wanted to be here. Yeah, who would have thought? Uh, I've been using Meerkat since it started uh, February 27th, so about a week or two in. I can't believe it's only been two months. Uh, it's uh, been kind of a whirlwind since it was released. Uh, pretty amazing. Uh, they're on Twitter at, at Meerkat, and they're actually pretty interactive too. So if you got questions, concerns, uh, you can go on there. I'm live streaming right now on uh, Meerkat, so you guys can look at the the hashtag and actually Woo! look in. You could go on the browser, but you can also use the app uh, through uh, iPhone. Um, they don't have. A compatible Android app yet, but rumor has it it's coming soon, very soon. So, um, anyways, so let's talk about the app. When you download it from uh, iTunes, the app's there, um, and that's my daughter. So, <laughs> on my, but um, so everything I'm doing here is for the iPad. Uh, I also have it on my iPhone as well. You can use it on both. So that's what the app looks like uh, when you download it. So how do you navigate the app? Well, when you click the app, first thing you see is the login to uh, Twitter. Um, they have to have a Twitter profile for you to utilize this um, if you want to interact with it. You can go just on the browser here, and I don't know if you guys can see me right now, um, but if you go on the browser, it doesn't actually, uh, you can't really interact. And I don't know if they're working towards that or not, but um, you basically have to have an iPhone to be able to comment, uh, tweet or uh, do anything like that. So um, now this is what happens when you uh, log in. You get your uh, Twitter handle up there. Uh, you get a score actually. The more you interact, the higher your score is and there's actually a leaderboard. I'm not going to talk about that in this presentation, but you can kind of explore around. And then uh, you can just click on, uh, these are all live streams. So if you want to see some people uh, making uh, anti-pasta. Uh, you want to see what Stiletto Supermom, who's actually pretty cool, <laughs> check her out. Uh, you can jump in and out and uh, it'll show up. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I actually have nine people right now on the live feed. So, so I have, to the camera on the computer or the phone is catching Yes, it? your phone camera uses it. Um, and I'll, I'll try to talk about that later, how this is way more efficient than having a webcam and your own website you could do all this yourself, but this is all self-promoting. This is all on the app, connected to your Twitter account. So, um, viewing this, yeah. yeah, there's about a 20 second delay. So, um, right here, actually, uh, so this is what happens when you click on the stream and you go in. As you can see, my account's put up here. Um, I'm not sure how they rank everything, and someone out on Meerkat could actually probably answer that question. I think it might have to do with points. I've seen my like ranking, but it's definitely not chronological as you come in. But uh, this is Meg, and Meg's actually uh, a painter who's painting for the Vancouver Art Museum. She's doing an uh, expose, I think, on uh, different animals and that, but she's actually painting a meerkat here, or meerkat. Um, she's a personality on there, and I actually got her to pose for that. I asked her, hey, can I use this in my presentation? She's like, as long as I look like good. So uh, hopefully I did her justice there. Um, and then... So that's, as a viewer, you go in, you can look, you can interact, you can just watch, um, all different. Now, if you wanna be a caster, uh, by the way, these terms are not industry standard yet. There is no industry standard that I know of. I just started using these. I literally created these terms. So I don't know if anybody out here is uh, using these, um, but uh, um, I, I like it because, you know, your cat, caster, use a K, so. Uh, if you want to be a caster like I'm being right now, uh, you go ahead and just put in your title of what you want your cast to be. You got, want to put in hashtags to link it out there. You put a topic, uh, and then you click stream. And it's easy as that, and wait for it. It's going to be shocking. Ah, so that's what you get. Um, at first, first time I ever did it, I was like, oh my god, this is horrible. And it made me so nervous, but I really wanted to like practice my banter and candid talking when it comes to presentations. So I thought this was a good forum. I had people to talk to. I could just see what where it goes. So you sign in. If you don't have a topic, you just kind of sit and wait for people to come in. <laughs> That's really all it is, or you talk to yourself. Now, a couple weeks ago, I was at Hamas Hamas over on the other side 
they're uh, doing the hoister um, they had a new tech day and when that happens I just stream like there's tons of people in there and I don't care if zeros in there and then people jump in and they're interacting I don't just sit there and wait okay there's people let's go so um, it can be frustrating if you don't have anybody in there but every so often someone like Cheryl who's actually on the cast right now uh, who's also a caster out there comes on and starts interacting with you so what you do is you click on this little comment button and you can actually tweet out to people and you can interact with them you can talk with them you can share information um, and actually so I'm also baby testing so I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not but uh, I, I think there's an update now where you can actually shut it off so normally when this first started, everybody's feed that followed Meerkatters just got pummeled with con comments. Even if so, if you let, uh, follow the person who's commenting and you follow the caster, it would just get pummeled with all kinds of comments and conversations. Well, now you can shut it off so that it's not reported on Twitter. So um, that's a nice feature because then uh, Twitter goes on as normal, but then you also have uh, people commenting. So. Uh, that's kind of an interesting new feature. So, um, and then you shut the cast down. You can have the option to uh, catch it. I think they were using. J Mini was using. Um, you can save the stream. You can go home, and then it summarizes how many people you could uh, have watched. Now, this cast that I did, all I did was play Pandemic, uh, the board game, <laughs> and I actually hung it from my light and had the full view of the board. And I actually had people stick around for like two hours watching us play this. And it was really kind of cool. Um, and, but as you can see, I had about 260 people come through and 32 were there when I finished. Some people commented, one said, this looks really dull. Well, <laughs> for them it might have been, but you know, you could see the board and it was basically like, hey, if you're interested in this game, check it out. So there's a huge potential right there alone. Uh, just realistic. Uh, display of the game so, so there's no, time limit, no no time limit that I know of no so and then uh, you can also schedule a cast which I didn't do today because I didn't know when this was going to go down but uh, so in the previous screen it had you could click stream you could also click schedule and as you can see there's an upcoming feed and you can go through everybody and you could subscribe to who you want to see you can retweet it to promote it or add a comment like hey i can't be there but check it out um, and once you subscribe if you have notifications on it'll actually notify you on your phone so you can go oh yeah i subscribed to that and you can check out what uh you know someone's talking about so um and then uh now i just want to introduce you guys to some influencers on the app uh, oh by the way this is all free i think that was part of the presentation I haven't seen any cost associated with this whatsoever however this just happened like two days ago with the Nepal uh, earthquake people have been raising funds through this through Bitcoin and people are actually doing drives to raise money and there's been a lot of success with that lately so shout out to all the people that are doing that that's pretty amazing and first time I've seen it on this app so within two months there's a way to generate uh, um, charity revenue which is pretty cool so, um, known to me that this is Team Meerkat so far. Uh, ben is the guy who created it. Um, actually, when I followed him on uh, Twitter, he had about 2,000 followers. So, he's uh, pretty new to the game, pretty innovative. Uh, rumor has it that he created the app in eight days and released it on February 27th. It's been two months. South by Swept, Southwest, it was huge. Um, and then uh, Ryan Cooley, I know he casts on there. He's part of the uh, Meerkat team. And then uh, Niv, if I pronounce it wrong, he is the troll buster. Actually, there's a new system now that you can actually uh, click on a person's name and then click report, and you can report them if they're trolling on you um, as a caster or if someone's who, who's being annoying. Once it's report, he comes in and investigates, and he can kick you off the app. So that's a pretty cool feature now that is actually they're trying to be a step ahead of the trolling that can occur on these things. Which, for the first like two weeks of the app, there was no trolling whatsoever. It was so positive. It was a great community. And then all of a sudden, we were all like at the same time like, did you guys see that troll? Like We knew right away. And then uh, this came into play, so that's pretty cool. 
And then here are my, the influencers that I know that uh, I've been uh, kind of hanging with. A lot of them are on the top of the leaderboard. Actually, some of them are competing on the leaderboard with like Snoop Dogg or Jared Leto. You know, they jump on for once, and then these guys are all together. So, you know, Cody is awesome. Cheryl, she helped me with this presentation, actually. I was talking to her about things to share. Uh, Curly, who I know uh, might be on, she was looking forward to this. Lee, Lee is cool because he actually owns a dog grooming shop, and he mirrorcast him washing dogs. And people actually get to know about the dogs, know about what they're doing, and people love it. It's great. So uh, he's having fun with it. And Jay, Minnie, and Drew are always interesting too on there. So um, that's it. So any questions? What happened to, there was a big whole look video when Twitter got off the stuff that your cat so it's existing, and they posted that stuff? That's uh, Periscope. So Twitter, just oh, before they no, launched, sorry. But Periscope. So what happened? I didn't follow the Twitter bought Periscope, and then during the South by Southwest uh, conference, festival, or whatever, um, Twitter actually cut off the ability for you to uh, take your Twitter followers and migrate them into the app. So um, you had to build from scratch your followership and viewership for Meerkat. And in doing so, that kind of was like, oh, Twitter's going to shut them down. Twitter's not going to allow this. Since then, it's kind of been worked out, and uh, um, the app's still able to function. You just gotta, you know, put your followers uh, uh, naturally grow them on your account. So, so is this? Um, I obviously don't know as much about it as you. Like, how did you discover this? I was on Twitter one day, and someone said, "Check out my live stream on <laughs> Meerkat." I clicked okay. on it. And I went, "Whoa, that's cool. That's them." That's actually them, like they exist. They're not just a profile picture. So I started interacting with them, and then they became friends, like Jane Minnie actually it was, and she's a good friend of mine, I consider now. She's in the UK, and we tweet together, we talk together. Uh, she's trying to branch into social uh, media, but she's also an engineer. Very interesting dynamic, and we've just been talking and sharing tips and tricks, and ever since then, I've just kind of on into it, and then one night I was like, screw it, I'm gonna to try to do this cast, and Cody, uh, who I mentioned, influencer there, he popped on and kept going, yeah man, keep talking, keep doing this, this is awesome, and we just kind of started doing it. So, so is there a content regulation, like, you know? No, you can report, you can report cast, I've seen some bad ones on there, and I report them, and I never, I haven't seen them again. For the most part, I have not seen two, like, there's some content of like girls parading around and stuff, but they've kind of established themselves as that, so you know what you're getting into. But I, the regulations there a little bit, but like the extreme stuff that you would think would come with this, I haven't seen yet. So uh, hopefully it stays that way because it's it's great forum for discussion and learning and seeing new things. So. And how do you search? Uh, I haven't seen the search function right now is just for users. I'm sure that's going to come eventually. But there's a few Twitter accounts where they actually retweet different mirrorcasts that are going on, and then you can actually search those for different topics. So a lot of times you just kind of have to load the app up, see who's presenting, and see what's going on. So. Cool. Any other questions? So hope this was interesting for everybody on the stream too. So <laughs> thanks. Thanks, guys. Oh, yep. I wanted, I wanted to hey, guys. You're all <laughs> there. I noticed that. Well, I was there. Um, <laughs> cool. Thanks. Thanks.